All right, so now that we created our service and we're able to search for something and have it pop up down here in the console, we want to take this and put it into the application. So let's go to our search component and where we have the console log, we're actually just going to change this. We'll say this dot and we'll call this search res for search results and we'll set that to the res artist items. And we, if we're going to use this as a property, we need to set it. So let's go right up here and say search res. Um, and I'm going to give this uh, a certain type of artist. Okay, now we get this error because it doesn't know what an artist is. So what I'm going to do is create a file in the root, not in the app folder, but in the root. So we'll create a file and we'll save it as artist.ts. And all we're going to do here is pretty much just create a simple model of what, what an artist is. So we're going to say export class artist. And it's going to have an ID, which will be a number. It's going to have, actually we want a, a um, semicolon there. It's going to have a name, which will be a string. It'll have genres, which will be an array, but I'm just going to put any for that. And then albums is actually going to be another type called album. Okay, so we need to import that as well, which we'll create in a second. So let's say import album from dot slash album okay so we'll save that and then we're going to create one more file here and we're going to call this album dot ts all right now for the album all that's going to have is an id so let's say export class album id number Okay, save that and now if we go to artists you can see that there's no there's no error because we created the album and then if we go to uh, if we go to search component we need to import artist up here okay and let's see we're gonna say dot dot slash artist and now you can see that that error is gone all right so we'll save that now what we did isn't required but it is it does make it cleaner when we have kind of a model um, to go on so now what we want to do is we have the we should capture the response or the data in this variable so we should now be able to go in the view and loop through this so let's go to search component HTML. We're going to go right under the form. And we want to create a div. And we're going to check to see if there's any results. To do that, we can use the asterisk and then say ng if. OK, so we'll say ng if search res. And then we need to loop through those results. So right here, we're going to put another div. And this time, we're going to use ng4. And we should be able to say let res of, and then let's do search res. All right, so we should now have access to res down here for each individual result. So let's create a div, give it a class of row, which is a bootstrap class. And then we want a 12 column div. So column D12. And then inside there, we'll have another div. And I'm going to give this a class of search res and also well, which is a bootstrap class. 
that'll give it a background and a border. And then let's put an H4 and we'll have the result name or the artist name. So let's do double curly brace res dot name. Okay, so now we can check it out and see if this actually works. So let's start to type and you can see as I type it fetches the band or the, the musician. All right, so that's working. Now what we want is we want um, the genres to be next to the name. Okay, so uh, for instance, Aerosmith would probably have genres, rock, um, alternative, whatever it might be. All right, so let's go underneath and put a div. And let's say, put a strong tag, we'll say genres. And then we'll do a span. Now the, the genres is actually gonna be an array. So we can do another ng4 here inside the span. And we'll say let genre of res.genres and then we'll just simply put genre okay so we'll save that start to type and you can see that we get the genres all right so now that we have that we we want to have a link here that's going to go to uh, go to the actual artist page so for that we're going to need to use the router and we're going to do that in the next video so for now i'm just going to put a link to nothing all right so now that that's working good so in the next video what we'll do is we'll start to create the artist component which is going to show up when we click on one of these it'll take us to that page and then ultimately we want to list all the albums from that artist. Okay, so we'll get to that next.